For RCR TV, I'm Sean Kinney, and I'm joined today by Miko Jarva, who is the CTO of Intelligent Data for CompTEL. Uh, Miko's joining us from Malaysia, and we're here today to talk a little bit about Operation Next Day North and a few other important topics. So, Miko, thank you so much for taking the time to get on a video call today. And I'm really excited to learn a little bit more about Next Day North. And this is taking place in Helsinki, November 9th and 10th. So what are you most excited about for this show? Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm most excited about our demo and partner blueprints that, that we are preparing for that show because uh, they're quite futuristic and interesting. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to see what kind of response they get from our customers from the show. And so who is the, uh, who is the show geared toward? What type of uh, person should attend? I would say it would be people who are working in a telco but want to look beyond telco. And I would say also in general, digital enthusiastics could be a good guest to come and see the show. I think they will enjoy it. And so from an operator perspective, what are some of the topics that are going to uh, really stand out to them? Uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about hyper-personalization of services and recommendations. Uh, we're going to be talking about managing, accelerating life cycle of products, uh, service elasticity, Internet of Things. So those are some of the interesting topics, definitely. And, you know, Miko, in my previous conversations with some of your colleagues at CompTel, you've really emphasized this market segment called Generation Cloud. And I know that there are sort of four pillars of Generation Cloud that y'all refer to as the four C's. Can you walk me through what the four C's are? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So uh, essentially the four C's is about the about providing superior customer experience, which is demanded by the cloud generation customers. And we could actually summarize this 4C by 1C, which is convenience. Right? But uh, let's, say, let's say go to the uh, specifically what the 4Cs are. So they are um, customer context, uh, channel, and content. So that means at the right time for the right customer, we will uh, provide the right content at the most convenient channel. Example could be a young professional, that's a customer, um, relaxing by watching uh, her favorite TV show on the way back from the work. So that would be uh, the content and then the context. And uh, using that, doing that by using mobile device, that would be a uh, channel. So obviously that's something very convenient and that's something that the cloud generation customers nowadays expect. And if we think about operators, if they can duplicate similar kind of convenience or customer experience that the cloud generation customers expect and get into the cloud services, they can then also upgrade their customer experience and also be able to upsell uh, better services to their customers, uh, improve the customer experience, and uh, that always leads into revenue generation. Okay, Mika, when we discuss uh, the cloud, it, it seems like there's uh, two different mindsets that apply. The first is an approach that's geared around automated policy. Second approach is a little bit more dynamic. Can you kind of take me through the differences between these two approaches? Yeah, yeah, uh, certainly. Um, in my opinion, I don't necessarily think that they are actually different phenomena or approaches. I think they are two sides of the same phenomena. So we definitely need this high level of automation for policing and decision making uh, with, because it's necessary in cloud scale of operations in order to provide these personalized services to a large mass of customers. Now, the dynamicity means that those policies and decision-making and products, they need to be elastic. They need to be continuously adapting to the changes. So, so I, I believe that the dynamicity and the automated policies are sort of a, uh, two sides of the same coin. So help me understand how a, a, a dynamic operator that's able to scale quickly can uh, turn that into reaching profitability more quickly. Yeah. So business, uh, for example, mobile data traffic and monetization, which is the main business of mobile operators uh, nowadays, it scales quickly if it's able to adapt quicker than the market. So the dynamic approach must be holistic, meaning that it's applied to every aspect of product or business lifecycle management. So it means we have a dynamic formulation of new products or business proposition, refining and optimizing those propositions, and then ability to implement the products propositions quickly and then having dynamic scalable operations. If you have all of these, then 
you can have a business that scales, scales quickly and uh, adapts also to change. And so when we talk about these two different approaches, can uh, Comtel provide service offerings that support either? Yes, I think, as I mentioned before, these approaches, they are intertwined. So Comtel, what we have, we have a highly automated solution which manages products, policies, and logic related to them. And then we have analytics use cases that provide the insights how we should dynamically develop and then uh, those products and uh, propositions. And then we have elastic operations that the new products and policies can be deployed without coding into practice and uh, production. Yeah, you just mentioned uh, data monetization, which is uh, something we've discussed in previous conversations with CompTEL. And I, I guess what strikes me is service providers have uh, arguably the highest volume and the most diverse set of data points that they can draw on. But how can operators more effectively use that data to create new revenues? Yeah, I, I do agree. Uh, it's often said that the operators, they actually do have the most holistic and complete pictures of the customers of, of all industries. Even the old days, they sort of have a lot of rich data, but sometimes the data is sort of a snapshot only when a customer is using specific kind of application. Yeah, so, so there is a lot of potential in the operator's data. Um, you mentioned privacy. Privacy is one of the things uh, that we should consider. The definition of privacy is leaving somebody alone or in peace, right? So when we take that principle into practice, that means that if we engage with the customer, we should have high quality engagement, not quantity uh, replacing quality, but the other way around. And uh, if we reach that kind of situation, then the data can be monetized. So the data can be monetized both internally in the telco zone operations by using uh, uh, analytics and uh, decision making to recommend customers better services, which then provide better customer experience and also increase then the revenue generation. And then, of course, there are a lot of sources of external data monetizations especially the many contexts of customers that the telco have an access to uh, through their data. Those are very valuable, for example, in third-party product placement and marketing. Uh, of course, such monetization requires then that the customer's privacy is taken into account and respected. And so when we see these uh, data monetization based models come online, it, how important to operators do you think this uh, is going to be in the future? Uh, sorry, could you, could you repeat? Uh, yeah, the, the whole I idea of introducing a data monetization-based business model to create new revenues, I mean, it seems like something that's going to be yeah. hugely important to operators in the future. I, I think so. I think it's one of the cornerstones, and then we can, of course, consider how many corners there is. <laughs> so so, so it, it is uh, one of the most valuable, uh, valuable aspects of the operations, definitely. Maybe there is the basic operations that the operators have. Maybe there are new propositions that, like going into IoT, then there is this monetization and, of course, selling, start selling all, all together different kind of products. But it's hugely immense uh, uh, sector or segment of the future operations of an operator. You know, and we talked a little bit earlier about Generation Cloud, and, and we just glossed over it, but you mentioned telecom personalization. This is just a, a, a huge trend right now in the space, and, and I think it's going to be uh, real prominent at Nextra Day North, right? Yes, yes. Okay. That's and, right. Yeah, yeah. And so just to bring it back around, can you um, – Reemphasize for us what Next Day North is really all about and, and why it's a, a really good opportunity for operators to better understand Generation Cloud. Yeah, so from my point of view or, or, or from the point of view of the business unit intelligent data that I represent, we have a main three topics that we will be showcasing through demonstration and partner blueprints in, in the next day notes. First one is uh, 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 not in specific, in a specific order, what is we'll call accelerating product life cycle. So, so what we see now already with the data products and application economy that uh, a new product or application coming into market can reach tens of millions of customers in a few weeks or so. And if that new product or application start generating a large number of data traffic, then an operator would need to be having that insight so they could formulate a new data product um, targeted for that application users very quickly or so. So we see that the product life cycle must accelerate. And then 
we need to have this elastic data traffic monetization tools in place for the operators so that they can capture the business potential from this accelerating product life cycle. That's one of the topics we will talk about. Then we will be talking about uh, uh, hyper-contextual customer engagement. So that one is uh, using a mass of or real-time telco and third-party data to generate this right content or right actions through right channels at the right context, the right customer at the right time. So, so that uh, blueprint or demonstration is about how we can monetize telco data contextually and externally. For example, for um, real-time marketing or real-time engagement and so forth. And then we have a one more interesting blueprint, which is about smart living with IoT. So there is a big promise of IoT revolutionizing different kind of segments, business and worlds, and eventually our lives, and making actually our lives better, making us healthier, and making business processes work better, and so forth. And we want to showcase a bit of taste of that, how we can make our lives better with IoT. So that's smart living with IoT, what we'll be talking about. Well, Miko, Operation Next Today North, it sounds like a great event. And again, that's November 9th and 10th in Helsinki. Appreciate you sharing your insight and telling us more about the work Coptel's doing. So, yeah, so we'll be continuing doing this big transformation, uh, which is uh, Operation Next Today. And the Operation Next Today is, uh, well, Operation Next Today is addressing these huge megatrends that now are affecting our lives and, of course, affecting our customers and uh, forcing our customers to transform. So what, as a Comtel, what we provide a solutions for is to how to manage advent of IoT, how to manage the big data, how to manage the cloud generation customers' happiness, how to manage app economy, virtualization, and uh, uh, hyperspeed networks. And uh, we have uh, four main um, sort of totally leadership topics what we are doing. Our big data proposition is what we call intelligent fast data. Our proposition for application economy and cloud generation customers, how we can monetize more with less time, so answering this accelerating product life cycle. For virtualization, we have a proposition calling, which we call um, uh, from uh, orchestration from ground to cloud. I'm sure Simon will talk more about that to you. And um, then we have also digital buying experience, which is a uh, we provide a way for these cloud generation customers to buy services the way that they are most used to with their thumbs using mobile applications. So those are the four areas that Comptel works on now. And that we call it uh, commonly as an operation next to day, our transformation story. Yeah, well, it sounds like a, a great opportunity for operators to really better understand how to reach generation cloud. And, and thank you for uh, giving us your insight.